Hello everybody, thank you once again for tuning into The Witch and Kitchen, and thank you so much for watching the other videos that we have on our channel. So today you're in for a real treat, and I am so happy to bring this one to you. If there's one thing I've missed being on keto is southern fried chicken. Well, we're in luck today because today we are making keto fried chicken with Dixie coleslaw and keto gravy. So stay tuned for that. Let's get the ingredients for what we're going to need, get our dishwater going so we can keep our hands and surfaces clean, and get an apron on. So we'll be right back. Hold on tight. Here we are the next day. Our chicken looks great. It's been in there marinating for 24 hours. Now we have combined up our whey powder and our paprika, our sage, our pepper in here. Mix it all up together so it's got a nice blend in there. This is for our dry dredge, our wet dredge like I said before. I'm going to take about three quarters of a cup of half and half cream, put it in a separate bowl like this. And we have our frying pan ready to go with our 24 ounces of light olive oil to fry them in. Now, a tip. One hand for getting the wet stuff, one hand for getting the dry stuff, and that's why we always have the sink water ready, so we can always wash our hands without cross-contamination. So we take a piece of this chicken, dip it into the milk, and then just set it into this mixture here. Repeat that over and over again. Into the milk, into the powder. Pretty simple. Let's snap up the process. Our chicken's all coated. I have a skillet with the oil all ready to temperature. Keep the whey powder mixture because you want to dip the chicken piece by piece back into it, shake the dust off it, and then put it into this hot fryer oil. It's going to be, depending on the size of your chunks, if you use a whole chicken and cut it down into pieces like we were talking about, about four minutes aside, just lightly crispy brown, and then put it into a large pan and set it aside till all the chicken's cooked. So let's fry this chicken up and then we'll get on to the next step. Now that our last bit of chicken is done frying, we preheat our oven to 350 degrees, take some of that milk batter mixture, spoon it over the top of these pieces very lightly, cover it with aluminum foil, and put it in there depending on the sizes, if it's the big sizes of the chicken section down, about an hour. And if it's the smaller pieces like this, about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're going to crank it up to 400 degrees. For 10 more minutes, put some more milk mixture that we use for the dipping on the top without the foil this time and stick it back in to finish it. Let's go ahead with that now. While our chicken is in there cooking, I mentioned we're going to have some beautiful southern gravy with it too. 
So let's make that right now. We have a pot right here. The next thing we're going to need is equal amounts. One and a half cups of chicken broth and one and a half cups of beef broth. In a liquid measure, very important, ground black pepper. Now, it depends on how much pepper you want in your gravy. We like lots of pepper. It's good for it. Lots and lots of pepper. Right near the end, we're going to thicken it up with xanthan gum. Teaspoon to a teaspoon and a quarter, depending on this mixture and how thick you want your gravy once it heats up to temperature. And at the very end, a tablespoon of butter into it to make it even better. So let's get this going and bring it up to a beautiful boil. Add in the xanthan gum, then we'll get our chicken, put it up to 400 degrees, pull the foil off, put that milk mixture on one more time, and we'll be right back to you. All right, our chicken's almost done. We have our coleslaw from last night, our Dixie coleslaw. Oh, there's the timer. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Turn the timer off. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that chicken. Set it on the cooling rack here so we don't burn our face off trying to eat it right now. And we're going to mix up the mayonnaise in with our Dixie coleslaw here. Our gravy's done. So we'll mix this up together. This has been also in the fridge overnight. This is that creamy coleslaw that you love. Keto style. Oh, that looks good. So there. Creamy coleslaw, ready to go. And our gravy's all done too. So let's take a break. Clean up. We'll get back to you very shortly and taste this and let you know what it tastes like. Hold on tight. We are all done with our incredible keto fried chicken, keto Dixie coleslaw, and southern gravy. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? It turned out perfect. What a beautiful smell. And I'm going to eat this. But first, as always, it's better to share it with a friend. Holy, what did you do? You ordered takeout. No, I didn't order takeout. You know I don't eat takeout. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I can't eat takeout either. You know that. Well, what have you got here? This is something that I think you're really going to enjoy. I decided to make keto fried chicken with Dixie coleslaw, keto style, and southern keto gravy. This is not keto. Yes, it is. No. I know the smell of those 11 herbs and spices. No, I'm... I'm telling you. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I know the smell of it. Uh, it smells like it. It's that southern chicken. Yeah, that, you, you know, know. from that state. Yeah, remember it? Yeah, that state. Yeah. That state. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it starts with a, with, a, with a number in the alphabet. A letter in the alphabet. Oh, man, I've been sitting over the stove too long. <laughs> give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. See okay. what it tastes like. What do you think? I think this is going to taste you, not you're too... You're sure this is keto? This is keto. I guarantee you. I don't know. It smells really good. I don't know if I trust you or not. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I wish you could taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that taste almost like the other stuff? Exactly like the other stuff. But you know what's better about this? It's keto! Well, I gotta try the coleslaw. Yeah, I try the coleslaw. And once again, Dixie coleslaw. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that bites. Oh, there it is. Mmm. Ooh, there it is. Now that's good. This is amazing. Yeah, and it's keto. Mm. So do us a favor. If you're going to make the recipe, what should they do? They should take a picture and send it to us. And take a short little recording, either on your iPhone, your cell phone, or whatever, of just like Darlene and I tasting it, and we're going to put a compilation together of you trying your recipes and people tasting it. What do you think? Good idea? I think that's a great idea. So thank you very much for coming out and enjoying us here at the Witch in Kitchen. This is really good. This is really freaking good. This turned out really well. I'm awesome, glad you, I'm glad awesome. You like it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, Guy Fieri's gonna sue us. Oh man, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Oh, what'd you do? Sorry. Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> uh oh, oh, Oops. no, that's okay. That's at okay. least I hey. didn't say the other. No, 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 no. 
Jesus Christ, that'll be a double whammy on me. <laughs> oh, man. No, this is really good. I'm going to go and eat. What do you mean you're going to go and eat? I'm going to go and eat. You keep snapping me in here. This is my dinner. I'm going to go and eat. Well, I'll tell you what. How about we snap you out so you can eat your dinner back to where you were? Ready? One, two, three. Well, how about that? That worked very well. Now I can sit here and eat my dinner and peace. Goodbye. I heard that. Where did that come from? Uh oh. Anyways, we have to do ourselves a favor here and finish this poop. So just remember, what should everybody do? Subscribe. And hit that bell icon so that you get notified on all our new videos. And please share with your friends. Yes, share as much as you can. Share, 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 share and like share, the video. Share. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. And please have yourself a smiley happy day. Bye for now. Enjoy your chicken. I know we will.